Well, good morning, friends. It is Saturday morning. I had a bit of a rough, not a rough start, slow start. I had a bit of a slow start this morning. I am usually like that person that jumps out of bed in the morning. I, I'm a morning person. I'm excited to start my day. I'm excited for coffee. I don't know. This morning was just not not so chipper, not so chipper this morning. I'm in a fine mood, but I just feel like I'm in slow motion, like I'm like functioning through quicksand. Uh, but anyway, here we are. I've made some coffee. I've fed the butters. Miss Butters, do you want to say hello? She's looking camera shy. So Miss Butters likes to pick up a toy and she wants you to chase her. So if I like bend down to go pick her up, she takes off. Or if I approach her with the camera, she takes off. So I'll catch her later. Anyway, how are you guys? I'm gonna just keep drinking my coffee. This mug, which seems incredibly <laughs> unspecial, <laughs> is one of my favorite mugs. It's my favorite like shaped mugs. My favorite mug is my teddy bear mug, which you guys have seen me use a thousand times. But this one I got from a friend. She had a party for like the series finale of Friends, which I never really got into. I never really watched that show. But this group of girlfriends, um, they were really into friends. So anyway, she had a big party. And so this mug she gave to everyone at the party and it had friends. It had like the friends logo on there, you know, with like the color dots in between each letter. And over the years, like when did friends end? That's how old this mug is. So over the years, the logo has just completely faded off of this. I don't even remember if it was on this side or this side. But anyway, one of my all-time favorite mugs even though it just looks like absolutely nothing <laughs> so what am i doing today i am i have to film <laughs> i have to film i've gotten really far behind i usually have a bunch of videos filmed so that i can kind of just sit down and edit them and kind of get them out like at a normal pace um but just lately i want to say over the past couple of weeks or so what baby mommy's talking i want to say over the past couple of weeks maybe even month what I've been doing is like filming, editing, uploading, filming, editing, uploading. And if you like to get up a lot of videos, that is just not, it's just not the pace you want to go at because if anything happens, then you're not going to get your video up. But a couple of weeks back, my uh, laptop just, just completely kaplooied and I had to get another laptop and now I'm having issues with um, the card reader that I use to read my SD cards that I use in my camera. So anyway, I've had all of these like, you know, these tech issues, uh, which, you know, comes up when you do YouTube videos that has really kind of like put me into this like filming, editing, uploading <laughs> schedule, which makes me like really, really frenetic. So anyway, that's where I'm at. And I'm hoping to film two videos today. So at least I have like one ready to be edited and I can like not film one day. I was telling you about my day. Oh, um, I am actually going out to dinner tonight. Um, it is, uh, I, I don't have many friends here in Vegas, uh, but one of them, it is her birthday today. So we are going out to dinner and Vegas, I don't know if you guys know, but Vegas has started to open up. Phase one happened a couple weekends ago. And do you hear Miss Butters drinking water? I just, it's the cutest sound to hear her like lapping up the water. So Vegas has been, you know, kind of slowly reopening. Phase one happened uh, a couple weekends ago. And like, you know, I went to the nail salon. So things are starting to open. And um, phase two is starting next, I'm losing track of time, June 4th. So I don't know what day it is, like next week, um, where pretty much everything is gonna be open. And that makes me a little bit nervous, a little bit nervous. This phase one was okay, cause it was everything off the strip and it was just kind of like, very controlled and it was like restaurants, but only up to like a certain maximum capacity. It was like 50% of their maximum capacity. Anyway, that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm going out for dinner with this girlfriend, her husband and my husband and myself. So it's like a little double date. So that's what I'm doing today. I guess a bit of a full day. I have to walk this crazy, this crazy canine. You know, no one watches my vlogs for me, Miss Butters. They watch for you. Mm -hmm. I know you hate the camera. Look how cute you are though. Okay, all right, I know, I know, it's terrifying. The camera's terrifying. So I did get some boxes in the mail yesterday and I kind of completely forgot I placed these orders, but there's like some new spring fashion here. So I'm gonna open up these boxes with you guys. Uh, let me go ahead and grab them. I'll bring them over here and we'll do a little show and tell. First box is from Zara. 
I don't know why this box is so heavy. Oh, shoes, that's right. I'm really, really into the dad sandal. And look at these. So these are like Tiva-like sandals, but they're completely bejeweled. This is what it looks like on my feet. I think it's like a little too narrow. See how my pinky toe is like just kind of jammed up into that strap. I feel like it's gonna come out over here eventually. So, hmm, I don't know if these will work. I got another pair of dad sandals. These are not bejeweled in any way. Okay, here are these on my feet. These fit better, but I don't know. I kind of feel like these are shoes that look better not on the foot <laughs> than on the foot. I don't know. I don't know. I have a lot of two strap sandals, you know, like Birkenstocks and some other sandals. I think the three straps is kind of throwing me off. They are cushy though. Like the soles are really, really like bouncy and really springy. They would be very, very comfortable. Okay, moving on. I got this shirt dress. So it's almost like color blocked. So this sleeve is white. The body of this is striped. And then the bottom of the skirt is like this navy pleated. So this is really cool. You guys may see this in an upcoming video, but I really like the detail. I love how this is, you know, it's a dress, it's one piece, but in the back here, there's like this little extra fabric here that hangs down that to make it look like a shirt over a skirt versus a dress. And I got this in size large. So hopefully that'll fit me. <laughs> and then I got this top. Wow, I really don't remember ordering this, but I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a deep v-neck here. And then it comes in at the waist and it's pretty short. I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered this, like how I thought I was gonna wear this. And it's short sleeve, which is great. It's just been so hot here. That's probably what I was looking at, was the short sleeves. I was like, black short sleeves? Let's try it. And then just a basic top with puffy sleeves. You guys know, I'm really into the puffy sleeve now. This is interesting fabric though, it's almost like parachute kind of fabric. Again, short sleeves. I think I was in a hot mood. I must have been hot the day that I was ordering this. But I think it's just meant to be a shirt, but it is fairly long. I don't know if it's long enough for me to wear as a dress. Mm, it's a little short. I think it's a long shirt. Oh, I was like really confused. So the, <laughs> the buttons on this shirt are on the back. So this is the back of the shirt but it almost has like a collar. That's why I was confused. I was like, what's happening? But this is actually the front of the shirt. It has this like Peter Pan collar. And then it is a button down shirt, but it buttons down the back. And then here's the sleeve detailing. So there's a little, little bit of ruching there. I don't know if I'd call this a full on puff sleeve, but this one's long sleeve. Oh, and it has like a nice wrist detail. That's the cuff for the arm. There's a little elastic there. So that's what I got from Zara. And then this big old box is from 24S. It's that store in France. I don't know if it's in Paris. It's a French um, retailer, and I don't even know if they have a store, if it's just online. Oh, well. Oh, I have to put this down on the ground. Woo, okay. This is the site, <laughs> 24S.com. This is heavy, and I was sort of confused why this was so large, but I just remembered I bought a handbag and it's not a soft handbag. So I wanted a summertime handbag. I have a lot of like just leather black handbags. So I wanted to get one that was a bit more summery. So I got this basket handbag from Lueve. I love this bright orange um, leather patch. It has Lueve like embossed on there. And then these straps are adjustable, so they're undone at the moment, but you can slide them through in here. And then there's this like metal stud that you can stick in here, kind of like a belt. So there is the bag. What's really cool about these handles is like I attach them this way, which is kind of the, I guess, more untraditional way. Like normally straps would go this way. Um, but you can do that. So I could actually 
undo these straps and then attach them so that they're like a little bit more normal. Let me do that so I can show you. So here, here's like the more quote unquote like normal way instead of having the straps go across the basket opening. So I think if I were to carry this bag as like a shoulder bag, I want the straps this way. And if I'm gonna carry it kind of like as a handbag, I'd probably swap them out and change them up. But isn't it just a great like summer bag? It's really, really light, typical kind of like raffia basket bag. So anyway, I'm very pleased with this. I wasn't sure about the size, but it's not too big, not too small. I'm not into like the micro bag movement that's going on. I'm like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening here. I can't even fit a pair of earrings in there. And then the other thing I purchased uh, from 24S, this was on sale. And I just hope this is gonna fit me because this looks absolutely gorgeous. So it is this dress in this like rich khaki color and it buttons up all the way to the neck. It has this like fun brooch at the top. Isn't that great? And it's just this like puff sleeve, short sleeve, like three quarter sleeve actually dress. And it hits me probably, yeah, like right at my ankles. So it's a long, long dress. It's pretty much completely see-through. So I feel like I'd have to find some sort of bodysuit or something underneath. But this is by this brand. I've never purchased anything from Gani, Gani. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's German sizing. So I got a size 42, which I think is like a 12 in US. So hopefully, hopefully it'll fit. I feel like the waist looks like it's gonna be a little bit snug. I will let you guys know how all these things turn out, but I'm definitely keeping the bag because I just love this. I'm definitely leaning towards returning those Zara sandals and then I'll just have to try everything else on. All right, I think I need to walk Miss Butter. She's over there pouting now. Do you guys see her pouting with her little lemur toy? Yes, I'm talking about you. Mm -hmm. You ready for your walkies, baby? Got your harness on? Your special, powerful unicorn harness? Why do you look sleepy now? So I'm eating lunch. This is a pretty sad lunch. I made these veggie quesadillas. They just have black beans, kale, cheese, some chipotle salsa kind of like thrown in there. Is that all I put in there? I think that's all I put in there. And I should have stewed the beans before I threw it into the mix because they're a little bit too hard and beans that aren't cooked through, they're like kind of mealy and anyway, not, not the best. And I don't usually make vegetarian dishes. I usually throw some meat in there and I forget like you have to get kind of creative with like your spices and stuff, especially if you're cooking um, vegetarian, because I feel like meat in and of itself is like, well, at least for me, very flavorful. So these were kind of a bust, but I'm just gonna finish them off. And I have my seltzer here. We, I got a whole bunch of different cases of different flavors um, before deciding that apple ginger is indeed my favorite. But I do like this peach honey one too. It's really good. It really just kind of tastes like peach. The honey, I feel like I can kind of smell, but I can't really taste. So just a quick update on the clothing that I just showed you that I got. I'm returning everything except for the handbag. So I'm keeping the Loewe basket handbag. And then I'm keeping the Zara top slash dress that had like that parachute material. I'm keeping that. Everything else I'm returning. It either like didn't fit right or just didn't look right or... So anyway, kind of a bust, but that's okay. So not that I want to turn this into a mukbang, but this could probably use some salt. Oh, and I have salsa and not cream cheese, sour cream. Sour cream and salsa have been added. Now we're cooking with fire. Oh, something I wanted to ask you guys. Sorry, I guess this is turning into a mukbang. So I just posted that video um, about how I make money on YouTube. And you know, it was really just to encourage anyone out there who's thinking about starting a YouTube channel that they should, that really there's no time like the present and you should just really start as soon as you can. Um, anyway, I got so many amazing comments. I actually get a little, get a little choked up when I think about it. I got so many amazing comments under that video and I was, so moved and I just was so, so happy that the video came off the way I wanted it to come off. 
I really just wanted it to be, you know, encouraging and inspirational if possible. And it seems like that's how you guys um, took it, which is great. It was in no way like for me to be like, look at, I'm doing it. Look at me. It was a, I'm doing it. You definitely can do it. You know? So a lot of people have been asking me about my filming setup that yes, they want to get started, that I've convinced them that, you know, YouTube is viable, but then it's like, okay, well, how do I, how do I start in terms of like filming and sitting down to film? So I was going to do another video like that talking about my filming setup but talking about my experience with equipment and just sort of like my evolution so that is definitely coming but i was wondering and if you guys would comment down below that would be great um, if you guys would like to see a video again regarding youtube but sort of like the things that i've learned and so it's not necessarily about like the hard skills like equipment like how to make money but just more like the mental aspect of it or the soft, I like to refer to as like the soft skills, like what should your channel be about? How often should you upload? And I'm not a YouTube guru. There are a lot of channels out there that talk about this and talk about it much more eloquently than I ever could. Uh, but just to kind of share my experience, would you guys be interested in that as well? Uh, let me know down below in the comment section. And like the reason why I'm thinking about this third YouTube focused video is because when I put out that call for YouTube questions or question, you know, questions relating to YouTube, the majority of them were, was about money. How much money do I make? How do I make money on YouTube, etc. The second most popular definitely was about equipment. But there are a lot of questions on there too that were just like, how do you deal with the haters? Um, how do you overcome insecurity? You know, just turning on the camera and talking to it. How did you know what to talk about? I got a lot of questions like, how can I get into luxury beauty? Stuff like that. So that's why I thought maybe that could be a good third video about YouTube in general. But again, let me know. All right, I just finished filming for the day. Filmed two videos. Now I'm gonna sit down and edit uh, my video for tomorrow. I've got a couple of hours before we leave for dinner. I hope I can get it done before then. I'm not optimistic about that though. Um, so I'll just have to work on it when we get back from dinner. So that's what I'm gonna do until I have to get ready. Still don't know what I'm gonna wear, but I guess we'll figure that out later. I'm still editing my video for tomorrow, but I need to take a little break. I usually take at least a couple breaks <laughs> while I'm editing one video. Of course, it depends on how long, um, but uh, it's, it's kind of a long one. So anyway, I am taking a little break, which will include a snack because that's what I do. And um, I found these at the supermarket the other day. <laughs> I was so excited, so, so excited. Star Wars Millennium Falcon ice cream sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like a little, a little too excited for these. We're just gonna dig right in. They definitely hit the spot. The vanilla flavor is a little, <laughs> it's a little synthetic tasting, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't think I would expect much more from Star Wars ice cream sandwiches. As suspected, I did not finish editing my video before having to get ready to go out for dinner. So I just have a black linen shirt dress on, really simple. It is so hot outside. I couldn't think to put on anything else. And I'm gonna be carrying my new basket bag. Yay! I love it. And it goes with everything, even with that bright orange patch. Well, at least it goes really well with the black. And I have on my gorgeous Birkenstock dad sandals. I just love them. I do feel like they kind of go with everything. And again, because it's so hot, like I'm inside in air conditioning and I feel like the sweat like accumulating here on my cheeks. All right, off to dinner.
I think I last left you with some shots of dinner. So I think I showed you the meat and cheese um, platter that we got. I'm not sure if I, <laughs> if I remember to take a shot of my entree, but I got a Chilean sea bass, which was delicious and perfect for the hot weather. It was really light. Anyway, we had a really lovely time, but we got home, uh, you know, a little bit later than I thought, and I didn't get to finish editing my video that needs to go up, well, that I would like to go up today. So I decided to wake up a little early. It's uh, 4.30 now, and just finish editing and uploading the video so I can get it up uh, this morning. So I'm going to do that now, drink some coffee, and then after that, my husband and I are going to go for our, our little jog, play with the pup. I don't have much planned for today, so I don't know how exciting of a vlog it will be today. But if I do do anything exciting, I will definitely take you along with me. Uh, but for now, I gotta edit this video. All right, I just finished editing. It is 5.45 and I just started to upload it into YouTube and I think Sunday morning is tough because I always feel like my internet is super duper slow and the estimated upload time, it's gonna take an hour and a half. That is really, really long. I finished my description box. That usually takes a very long time and it usually takes like the entire time the video is uploading. But because the upload time is gonna take so long today, I finished the description box and now I'm just gonna work on the thumbnail, but that's not gonna take me <laughs> an hour and a half. Anyway, let me do that. Oh, just got back from our 5k run it seemed it seemed cool out <laughs> and then right at about the halfway point i was just like dripping with sweat oh my god i'm glad i have that over with and my video is live for today i just posted my may favorites and oh gosh i don't know what we're gonna do <laughs> i feel like i need to take a nap um but we definitely have to walk the dog where is she there she is. And then figure out breakfast. I think I want a shake, like a protein shake. So it's been a really, really lazy day. There hasn't been much to vlog, uh, but we're about to make dinner and uh, we're making some steak, a Wagyu skirt steak. So good, it's probably one of my favorite cuts. And then I'm just gonna make, Miss Butters is on a tear today. <laughs> She's really crazy. So I'm just gonna be sauteing up some broccoli and that's it, just a really simple Sunday dinner. So very excited for that. cheese and meat from dinner last night. So that's a St. Agar blue cheese. This is, oh, actually um, a house-made truffled ricotta. We have truffled salami, we have prosciutto. Um, those are dried figs, dried apricots, and I can't remember. <laughs> can't remember what that one is, but all very delicious. Ooh, I'm so excited. we've had this uh, Wagyu skirt steak, we've just seasoned it with salt and a little bit of pepper and that's it. 
um, but that Chicago steak seasoning from Penzi's, I really love. I just, I always kind of just throw that onto all steaks. It's kind of my default. So I thought this time, let's do it. Wagyu usually, I mean, you can just eat it with no seasoning whatsoever, but I thought let's try it this time. So we cooked it for two and a half minutes on each side and we got like a nice medium rare. Oh, this looks so good. Well, hello. I can't even remember if I vlogged today yet. I don't, I don't think so. I, or maybe I did and said nothing much was going on today. So if I vlog at all, it'll probably be pretty boring. Um, but I just have to tell you, I just did the stupidest thing. It was about 1.30, 1.45 in the afternoon. And I just kind of finished editing a video and it was uploading and I was just kind of sitting there watching it upload and I'm like, I have to do something. And I hadn't really been out today. It was not a running day. And I thought, let me just go out for a walk, but let me check the weather report first. So I go to my weather app on my phone and it says that it is um, 82 degrees. And that was it. And I was like, oh, that's not bad. Warm, but not awful. So I go upstairs, um, I ask my husband if he wants to come with me, and he says, oh, sure. So we start to go on this walk, and I'm like, God, it's really warm. <laughs> I'm like, whoo, is it me? I'm like, I feel a little, like, you know, hard to take a breath or whatever. My husband doesn't mind heat as much as I do. He's like, oh, it's okay, you know, whatever. So we're walking, we're walking. All of a sudden I get a message on my phone saying that there's an excessive heat warning. And I was like, what? Anyway, we get back here and I'm, we're like sweating. We didn't even go that far. And I looked at my, I pulled up my weather app again and I was like, what is happening? And my weather app hadn't like refreshed <laughs> since this morning when it was 82 degrees. So we basically were out for a walk. It was about a hundred degrees. <laughs> everything has like melted, fallen apart. Like I look totally insane. But I came on here not only to tell you what an idiot I am because I can't, I can't read my weather apps, um, but to show you a package I just got. So Kululi, I think that's how you pronounce it, just sent over this little mini fridge. And if you guys have been with me for a while, you guys know that I have one and I keep my sheet masks in there, um, some like eye products in there or whatever. And it's actually tucked away in my room and I never really go to it. It's so bad. I have products in there that I always forget that I want to use, whatever. Anyway, they just sent this one to me and I'm so excited because I want to actually use it for, <laughs> for seltzer. You guys know how much I love my seltzer and I would love to have some upstairs nice and chilled. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we're going to see how many cans actually fit in there. I'm actually really excited because four cans actually fit in here. And I think, yeah, and you can take this out if you don't need this little extra shelf that kind of sat in there. And four regular size cans <laughs> fit in here. So I can have four seltzers in here. And if AHA comes out with more tall boys, I can fit some tall boys in here. So thank you, Kululi, for this awesome fridge. I know how awesome it is since I already have one. Um, and it even has this little like door shelf. It's really, really cute. Um, but yeah, I already have one, so I know how awesome it is, but I've never actually tried putting seltzer <laughs> in the one that I have upstairs already. You know what, I think I knew this, but I forgot that there's actually a warming function on here too. So yeah, you can actually keep things warm in here. Ooh, awesome. Hey guys, so I was just toweling off after getting out of my shower and I heard my doorbell ring and I got a delivery that I have been <laughs> waiting for for a couple of days, so I wanted to show you guys. But I got a pound of black truffles, which I have to get out of this bag and store. But my husband's friend turned us on to this deal. So there's this food distributor in Long Island City, New York, which is uh, where we used to live before we moved to Las Vegas. So my husband and I used to live in Long Island City and this food distributor, they've been having a really hard time getting rid of their stock for obvious reasons uh, with everything that's going on. So they were selling these basically like a fire sale. So these are a pound of black truffles and that can usually go for anywhere between like four and five hundred bucks but we got them for 150 bucks and they even threw in 
this white truffle olive oil. So this is the company name if you want to look them up if you're interested. I think they still have uh, plenty of stock. Um, and they even have steaks and things like that. But I was really, really excited <laughs> for these black truffles. So I'm gonna go ahead and store these and I guess I'll show you how I store them. Yeah, I'll show you how I store them if you're interested at all. All right, so I have some paper towels down and then I have some of these jars with like the clamp airtight lid. And I'm gonna cut the bag open and I'm gonna lay the truffles out on this paper towel here just to dry them off. There's quite a bit of condensation in this uh, plastic bag. Oh my God, aren't these glorious looking? Mm, they smell great. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of pat them on the paper towel again to kind of get off the extra moisture here. And then I'm going to wrap each one individually in its own piece of paper towel, and then I'm gonna stick it in the jar. So I'm gonna put these in like my crisper drawer in my refrigerator, and they'll be good in there for maybe like two weeks. And I I don't think I'll be able to get through a pound of truffles in two weeks. Uh, so after that, I'm gonna have to freeze whatever is left over. But for now, they are gonna be good in these airtight jars. I think we're gonna be making a pasta tonight with these truffles. So I will definitely show you what we end up uh, cooking tonight with these. Mm. 